So here's the results of the bit of gluing that we did the other day. That's been uh, flattened off and you can't really tell just a tiny black dot there is all you can see now. Same with that one. That's had a bit more sanding and a bit of polishing done to it. The stem, the epoxy's cured pretty well. It's had a day or two. Um, G Flex is the other one that a lot of people like to use because it maintains a bit of flexibility, less likely to crack out and leave a big hole. So, like something like this here, it's a stem from a Longfellow church warden. Needs a bit of a shine up yet. before I started that's what it looked like so you can actually get some pretty reasonable results and I doubt whether that's ever going to fall off there in any easy sort of fashion so I've got a bit of uh, filing to do to that and I'll just go away and file it down flat and uh, show you what the result of that is. Okay, so one semi cleaned up stem, a fairly well sanded pipe stumble, a plastic pipette. A Ziploc bag with some t-shirt material in it. Um, ethanol solution, methylated spirits, denatured alcohol, whatever you want to call it. some shellac. I'm not going to use this stuff. This is what that other guy calls um, button polish. And that's what that looks like. That will end up being um, a gold sort of a colour I suppose. Brown. Um, add some flakes to a container and put some uh, methylated spirits in with it according to whatever consistency you like a lot of Americans talk about pound cuts and whatever else that no one else understands you can get it in various colours some gold, some light coloured, some blonde clear that's the um, clear stuff mixed up fairly thin this camera will behave itself This pad's probably a little bit wet, a little dry, and you can add a bit of 
to that to it and that will be well and truly too wet again it will dry You want something that's not going to leave lint everywhere so you're looking for a t-shirt material or something like that some kind of cotton cloth that's not going to leave little stray bits of cotton everywhere Some, alter uh, some alternative measures to get some shellac down in the corner there if you're going to do a large area you might want to go down the French polishing route and add some kind of oil, a very small amount of oil into the mixture that acts as a lubricant because as this goes off it'll get sticky and uh, start to catch your cloth. Undo that and get that in there a bit. But that'll dry fairly promptly as you can see it's starting to now and don't get too excited about little lines left on there because you're going to have to put on a heap of coats and as the shine builds up as the shellac thickness is, gets thicker uh, the layers are thicker um, you won't have that, those sort of marks anymore and you'll start to get a really nice shine I'll give it a few more coats and have another look at it. Okay before any of you die hard French polishers out there decide to say oh your shellac was too thin, your, your cloth was too wet, it's okay. It allowed it to get into these um, stitch marks and it didn't hurt anything because the alcohol will eventually evaporate and I've since dried out the cloth anyway now you can actually, that's had, I don't know a couple of wipes over with the with the damp shellacky cloth starting to look shiny, it won't look shiny for the first few coats because um, it tends to just look dull give it a bit of a rest, let, it, let the alcohol evaporate don't set fire to it um, and the your coat of shellac will actually thicken up and set and fairly quickly um, you'll reach a point where um, it starts to go soft, it's hard to finish, it's sticky uh, probably because you've got a heap of layers on there and um, you need to leave it overnight or leave it for a couple of days until it uh, dries and cures you can sand it in between coats let it dry nicely first and go nice and hard and then use some fine stuff like this 136,798 grit on one side and something else in the back but mostly you won't need to because you won't have any funny marks on it anyway if you're careful but just an, either a really worn out piece of um, wet and dry or use the back of it use the back of a worn out piece even better just to get rid of any little funny marks you might have or if you happen to have a piece of lint that got stuck there and what you're really aiming for is so that you wipe it and it just looks like basically a smear 
you can sort of see the alcohol evaporating away from what you've just wiped over. That's around about the right dampness of your cloth. And a lot of it's just practice anyway, I suppose. Um, knowing when to stop. Convincing yourself you need to stop now before you've gone too far. But each time you wipe the cloth over it, you're putting a tiny little bit of shellac on there. Probably more denatured alcohol or metho than anything else. And eventually, you'll get a nice build up of polish on there. which you can then wax or leave it as it is or whatever um, the advantage of the shellac, shellac finish is you'll have something to polish um, before you put the your wax coating on the outside and if it gets damaged um, you know I could put a scratch down there and um, just wipe over that a few times and the scratch would be gone you know, assuming it's, if it's just in the finish, if it's in the wood, you might have to do some sanding. But you don't necessarily have to refinish the whole pipe to achieve that. Now I'm going to have to put some thinner stuff in these serrations I'll put in there um, to get it to go in there. And I won't show that so that no one has to get too upset about having really thin shellac. But it'll get a shine on it pretty quick. It's getting there. Okay then, the pipe's had a couple more coats of shellac. Um, and I've had a bit of a sand at the stem you can just see the epoxy uh, feels on the top there same with on the bottom still needs to get buffed properly probably could have done a slightly better job of that one on the bottom a bit of uh, white paint in the logo polish that a bit and it's gone from a long champ to a long stitch probably but other than a bit of a buff that's Pretty much it. Hope it was interesting.